What is up? Welcome to episode two of A Glitch TV. I'm one of your hosts, Patrick Dees, and I'm joined by the lovely and talented Kate Elliott. Hi! She, she hates it when I do that. She hates it. She, she, you want to see me that look like you're neither one of those I things? I'm so I kinda, awkward. It's just uh, weird. Yeah, I'll get more awkward. Epi- stay tuned to episode three where I get even more awkward <laughs> with the intro because that's happening. So yeah, welcome to a very, uh, a very superhero-centric yeah. episode of mm-hmm. Glitch TV. Uh, if you're new to the show, which we're still new, welcome welcome back. If you haven't seen episode one, we'd encourage you to check that out. But for people who are just tuning in, why are we here? We are here to talk about all of the TV shows, all of the content that we can consume without cable television. Because most of us don't have cable anymore. A lot of us don't even own televisions. Nope. This particular space has a projector and no TV. So this is the future. <laughs> so these are all of the things that we get to watch on the internet for free. Without subscription, it's really, really great, and we're going to cover what we like, what we don't like, and then we're going to discuss with you what we're into and what we're going to look forward to next week. So. Yeah, I think that's my favorite part of the show is that, that ultimately this we get to discuss with the, with the audience. I, this past week, we got a lot of uh, a lot of comments on our socks. socks. I'm on, I chose some very colorful socks last time. I, I not as colorful, but if you like to, to chime in as what color socks I should be wearing, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be really interested. I just wanted to join the sock club. So. You did. I think you're killing it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so how was your week this week? I mean, it, was, I don't know. it was great. Okay. I worked a lot, actually. 12-hour days. Unfortunately, that's what it's like in Hollywood if you work in the industry. it's it, You spend half the day at work. At the so, officer on set, doesn't matter. It's like a humble brag. Realistic. You know, if you're in Hollywood. If you're, you're, you're in your And you're working. I came from <laughs> England, okay? She's neither that's lovely or talented, and she just does, works in Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood, blah blah blah. What did you Busy do? Though. What did you do? I, you know, I actually uh, I watched a whole lot of shows that were not on regular <laughs> cable television, which we're going to talk about. I played a lot of The Witcher Three. Have you played this? Heard I about haven't. This? Unfucking believable. It is an unbelievable game. So I, I know we're not we're not here to talk about video games, but uh, between but episodes, between episodes of things you catch on Crackle, PlayStation Network, Netflix. Highly encourage people out there to pick up a copy of Witcher 3. It is an early frontrunner for Game of the Year, I think, at this point. Very nice. So good. So are you a Game of Thrones fan? Oh, my God. All right, okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, yes, like an enthusiastic 10 out of 10, yes. It's that of, like, RPGs. So, like, I don't know, if you played Bioware's uh, Dragon Age, it okay. feels a little bit like baby's first RPG, right? It's a little bit like, uh, I don't know, more like Tolkien-esque. This is very much like the Game of Thrones, this unsanitized fantasy. That sounds great. Unbelievably cool. So, All highly right. recommend. I'm in. I'm in. But that's not why we're here. We're not here talking video games. Although at some point I want to talk about this video games. We're here to talk about a lot of shows that, that you couldn't find on cable television otherwise. So let's jump right into it and let's take a look at what we're looking at this week. And welcome to the segment that we call Movie, Movie, Movie of, of, of the Week. Week, week, week. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you... I, was, I, I, I wasn't got, committed I got, to I it. I know. I'm glad. I'm glad. So the, <laughs> last week, you saw this week's version of us travel back in time. Whoa! It's, it's selling it. They really... They're believing it, right? <laughs> yeah, that time right? travel is yeah, legit. Sure. So time-space continuum is yeah. totally borked because of the show. Uh, we went back in time, invited you to watch the movie Hancock, which is featured on Crackle this week. We watched it. Last week you told me, Patrick, be excited about this movie. I totally didn't believe you. It's such a good movie. And I genuinely enjoyed it. Yes. The Hancock was great. So normally during the show, this is a segment we'll be interacting with you guys. We want to hear, this is the book club section of the show, yeah. right? So we're going to watch a movie. You guys are going to watch it with us. We're going to come back and I'll discuss. But let's talk a little bit about Hancock this week. I had no... No, I had nothing. I, I skipped Hancock. I think this movie crazy. suffers from this crazy... It did at the time. Like, the marketing was a total miss. It was a bit strange, but I was... I honestly... What was the thing that put you off it? Okay, here's it what was, it is. Yeah. Here's what it is. So, like, I saw the scene where... Hand the commercial over and over. Like there, So, there's a lot of people involved in this that I like, right? Like, Will Smith, Pete Berg directed it. But I saw the scene where Will Smith threw the whale... Hancock throws the whale back. It hits the boat. It knocks the shit out of the boat. And, ah, uh, that's funny. But to me, it felt like... This is a superhero movie for guys who get off of work of five. They knock back some natty ices and hit their wife. Like, this is their... <laughs> 
type of <laughs> shitty superhero show that they like, and I'm like not interested in it. We just like literally been talking about all hilarious. these really interesting like versions of the superhero verse, and like oh to me this seemed like like super dumb ma- Paul Blart mall no, don't cop. You even That's what it felt like the mall cop things. of like fucking superhero I shows. I am not opposed to punching you in the face. Punch me in the face. That, it was made for a good show. That I, scene actually with the whale throwing back, I saw it as a preview when I was watching another movie, and I was the only person in the cinema uh-huh. laughing, but I was laughing so hard. It was good and it worked and it totally oh. and it totally worked. It was hilarious. My, but my point is is that like I, I wasn't prepared for what this movie is. So like it felt like so Paul fun. Blart Mall Cop. And then it starts immediately with him flying to the rescue and it's Luda move bitch get out the way get out the way and I was like okay okay this is not I, I didn't know what I was signing up I for I was so down I was like yeah, yeah I'm, I'm <laughs> on board it was a little bit more the, the gritty it was a little bit more I don't know realistic like there are some heartfelt moments in there there are some moments you get really emotionally involved with the characters and there are a couple of tear jerks I'm not gonna lie it was a I, I just in love in love with him what did you love about it like so because you gave me no indication going into this you're just like just watch you're gonna enjoy it like if for no other reason we're gonna discuss it but you didn't tell me why you love it so much so, so what my was... favorite thing about this movie is the character development i think the characters are really well written and they develop really well throughout the whole story so you stay engaged throughout the whole thing i'm ready for another movie like this i don't want hancock 2 they've already nope. done the whole story but they set like up Hancock another... 2 so well. No. They set it up. He goes s- to New York. He I don't has want an to eagle. lose it again. No, just... he's so good. I want to see the same kind of story, but different, happen somewhere else in the world. Ooh. I think that would be great. That's I would a great love pitch. I love that. Great, great movie. Holly, Miss Hollywood. I work in Hollywood. I, I want, want the same, same but kind of different, different and then make it. <laughs> I know what I mean. I do a really terrible it Kate is... impression. That's that the worst. No, it wasn't that good. No, it was pretty good. I, I, yeah, no, it's great. I love the characters. I love the way the story goes. It keeps it real. It's funny. It's heartfelt. I just, I love this movie. I really, really do. So it stars Will Smith, mm-hmm. Jason Bateman. Charlize Theron. Charlize which Theron. Which actually I learned recently. It's not Charlize Theron. It's Charlize Throne. We're all pronouncing True story? it completely wrong. Yeah. This. You show yep. up on the show. You're, Charlize you're, you're, Throne. You're, you're mildly entertained at best, but you're also learning things. So this is what you get from Butch TV. <laughs> Absolutely. Please, man, that you're right here. Just get me, <laughs> just in, get me in post. <laughs> Uh, um, so you, so I, Jason Bateman was just b- being Jason Bateman. Yeah, perfectly but he did cast. It great. Yeah, no, absolutely yeah. perfect for the right. role. Absolutely. I, um, I think to me, what was surprising was Will Smith because he's yeah. great in everything. What did you say to me off mic? You said like he's a Hollywood god. I think he is a god of Hollywood. I believe that everything he touches turns to gold. He is so well loved. Mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. is a great guy on and off screen. He is hilarious and he can really invoke emotion in you as an actor. I'm. I love him. I think he's fantastic. I really, really do. And I think everyone in this room, I don't know what you feel like, but everyone else in this I'm room loves Will. I'm a fa- so I'm a fan, this room being the internet. Um, th- th- I'm a fan. I think, I think Will, he's fine. I think for most of his career, at least early in the career, he did this thing where it was like, he was winking at the audience and just being really charming and it works. Like, in a way that nobody can oh, do, yeah. right? It totally does. does it so but well. that wasn't this character at no. all. No. And he played it very straight. So he was well. very, yeah. So good. Totally. He was feeling sorry for himself. And I think, that's what I was ill-equipped or like ill-prepared for coming into the movie was I did not know that this was going to be a conversation or, or thematically it was about like being alone. And again, one of these things that a lot of people can identify with or Absolutely. feeling special and unique in a way that isn't always conducive to like to things it's like a, going it's well. It's like being attached to a stereotype. Yeah. Like you're really good at math. It's like, yes, I am, but you really don't need to point that out. You know what I mean? It's one of those you're things. You're just a redhead. Fine. Okay. Like, I wasn't aware. Just no soul. Just, just. That's horrible. But that's all it's doing. That's what the situation is. And it's just not. It's not. Uh, it was good. I love you. That, no, you don't. You you kind of, you know, she hates redheads. I deal with She's it. on, follow her on Twitter. She hates redheads. She's constantly shit talking. I don't understand. I, I don't know why we tolerate each other. <laughs> I, I dug a lot about this. It was an interesting look at the psychology of a superhero mm-hmm. and themes about feeling alone in the world. My problem fundamentally, and like, I, so I enjoyed it overall, like, way pleasantly surprised. This is one of those things where like, if an expectation is here and it's even anywhere above it, you're having a fantastic time. So I think the bar was set a little bit low because like, I don't think public reception for this movie is very good. It's got like a 48 on like Rotten Tomatoes. What? Yeah, it's not, you know, it, it made some money. It had a $150 million mm-hmm. budget. It made $650 million, So critically, it wasn't a success. It did all right. But I think the bar for me was here and it did all right. I think 
It's a far from a perfect film. I, I think mean, that... I do know people that hate this movie. What? And I'm no longer uh, friends with them. No, but, totally. But you know, you know that they exist. I, um, I'm, I'm no longer friends with your them. friends that don't like this movie. Like, I, I, mean, I liked it. I, don't, I think it's far from perfect. And it's one of those... And this is rare because I, I'm of two minds. I'm trying not to be the guy on the show that's like too critical of everything. But I'm also... Cause I'm, you you know, have to be honest. But I've got a like whatever. I've got a perception on the internet that I like. I like liking things, and I find a way to speak highly of everything. And so, like, and this is a case of a movie that, like, and I rarely will say this about films because I usually be like, nope, don't watch it. It's stupid. It's not worth your time. I think this is a movie that is deeply flawed that I loved. What's its deep flaw? I'm curious. I think the third act is a train wreck. Because totally, it doesn't know what it is. It's hilarious. A lot of the is movie. that the twist when the twist comes in? No, about the third act. About the time where, like, uh, yeah, you understand that uh, Charlie Theron has the powers, and all of a sudden, tonally, it shifts from like this kind of dark look at and funny, and it abandons all humor, and it it won't any longer commit to any of that. And it's this very like, it tries to scientifically explain or scientifically mythologically explain, you know, because I'm a scientician. It. <laughs> he tries to explain like the whole relationship, like the proximity thing, right? When yeah. they're and and that doesn't really flesh that out. And, like he's getting hit and she's getting, you know, uh, the I'll just I'll just use I just won't even use words. I'll just use sound effects. Whoa. Um, <laughs> and, and they don't explain that well. And like I all of like that, I fully understand. Oh, let me help you. What part of it do you not down. understand? So basically, the story is that these beings are built in twos. They're meant to be together for right. life. And what I it is, is they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're built to be these superhuman creatures. I'm not going to say gods because that comes in later. But when they find their it's mate like, and they are together, they lose their powers so they can live a mortal life and die like everyone else. Um, and my brain just shut down. What just happened? Yeah, it's like, no. <laughs> Uh, you know, so I okay, so I followed all of that. Yeah. I mean, I get it, but uh, the the my point was okay. So, so even if all of that's explained well, sure. which I'm not sure that it is, uh, but they don't they don't commit to the the tone. It's this dramatic shift. It goes it goes it from this really dark and actually. quirky and kind of funny to this very serious, very like. And it, it, it's a miss. So, like, it, it changes direction a little bit. It's still impossibly fun. And I liked yeah. how... And honestly, I took a weird glee in seeing a superhero beat the shit out of mortals in the hospital when he just throws those guys out the window. I really had a good time with it. I yeah. think partially the businessman in me really objected to dude branding the moon at the very end. Like, puts that, that hard was thing... A, I was like, you're going like, to get I, sued. I was like, I don't know how that's good for the brand. That's an no, eyesore said, for yeah. so many people. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. I, I agree with that part. And if I'm honest, I think the first time I saw it, I did think it was a bit strange when it completely flip flopped on the tone. Totally. I mean, it, and it's, then I, once I got used to it, I was like, okay, I'm it's fun. At first, it is a bit jarring. But I, like, I will admit that it's an example of content that, again, I'm grateful that is on the internet for free. Crackle brought it to you with limited commercial interruptions. So we watched it, like, and that's going to be the continuing theme of this uh, of this segment. Is again, we want to ensure that zero barrier to entry that anybody can watch this along with us yep. um and so i'm interested to hear what you thought about uh Me about too. hancock and i'm even more excited about this week because this week our roles are reversed a little bit this they is a movie are. i have seen i have not seen and it. super love this movie this week we're watching snatch which is a uh, a brad pitt this is a uh brad pitt? it is brad pitt oh. it's one of uh a little bit of brad do you and what's think. your favorite brad pitt flick of all time I thought you're gonna say what's your favorite bit of brad pitt <laughs> Let's, now fight that club. you've mentioned that, fight okay, club. okay, I can get behind that. Can we do a Fight Club episode one time? It's so it versus Where super we ego. Just fight in a we can fight sure. and then totally, I would Damn. cry. It would be really a mess. Yeah, yeah just yeah. me sure. weeping on camera. This is not a good thing. I don't know. We're not doing that episode. I'll take it back. We're watching. We're watching Snatch, which is an unbelievable movie. Uh, I'm excited. Have you seen the, the commercials? Do you know what to expect? I have no idea. Nothing. No idea. Okay. It's one of the ones that just went straight past my radar. No you, clue. You just I the... heard of it. I knew people liked it, but I have no idea. Fair enough. Well, we're going to watch it. Uh, we're going to invite you to watch it. And seriously, this is the part where this show's evolving, right? We're still kind of playing with format. We're still learning, but come back to us. Watch it with us. Let us know what you thought. If you've seen it, watch it again. Come back and let's have a dialogue. We'll be blowing up your comments, questions, concerns, uh, criticisms. Yeah. Talk some shit about Snatch if you don't be love honest. it. Be honest. Or uh, tell us the parts that you loved. But uh, we'll be back next week and we'll be talking all things Snatch. Yeah. Well, that sounds gross. Super inappropriate. <laughs> we'll be back next week talking about the movie with Brad Pitt and all his bits. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Well, that's it. Episode two of a glitch TV is uh, is in the books. You seem emotional. It's been a journey. Is, is what she's getting at. We've laughed. We've cried. We've made fun of superheroes. We have. We get really into Hancock for a pair for some reason. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the movie next week. Yes, I can't wait. I haven't seen it and I've heard so much about it. So this is another great excuse to be on the show as I get to learn new stuff. Along Fair. with you guys, it's wonderful. I love this. So uh, all kinds of ways to get a hold of us. Obviously, a big part of this show is the conversation. We want to hear from you. You hear this from a lot of shows, a lot of content on the internet says, hey, we want to hear from you. Join the conversation. But like, We mean it. Right? That is a big part of the show. We mean it from our hearts. We want to know what you think. You're very kindly interested in what we have to say. And it's mutual. So let us know what's going on. If there are any shows that we haven't talked about. Right. Please let us know. We're interested to get involved in other things, too. No, totally. The, yeah. st- the stated point of the show is to help you find shows that are readily available for, for people who don't have cable television. If we're missing something and you're watching this screaming at your television or your computer screen or your phone, however you're ingesting this thing, why aren't you talking about fill in the blank? Then let us know. <laughs> yeah. And we'll start talking about Absolutely. fill in the blank. <laughs> how, how can people get a hold of us? There are several ways that. you can get in touch with us. You can join us on the Twitter conversation at a glitch in. You can subscribe to us on YouTube, which I would love for you to do mm-hmm. because we're going to build an audience here and that's the best way for you to interact with us really is through the comment section. Please do subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook, a glitch in. And we also have a website, a glitch So whichever tickles your fancy, I don't know why I did this at the same time, whatever tickles your fancy, <laughs> Join in on the conversation. We look forward to discussing with We do you. a lot of fancy tickling around here. So come back. God, that's so amber alerty. That was really gross. But do come back. Join us for episode three in a glitch TV, and we will see you next week. Anyways, but uh, between but episodes, between episodes of things you catch on Crackle, PlayStation Network, Netflix, highly encourage people out there to pick up a copy of which is great. It is on early front runner for game of the year, I think, at this point. Very nice. So are you a Game of Thrones fan? Oh my god. Alright, okay. So yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so, so yes, like an enthusiastic 10 out of 10, yes. It's that of like RPGs. So like I don't know, if you play Bioware's uh, Dragon Age, okay. it feels a little bit like baby's first RPG, right? It's a little bit like uh, I don't know, more like